Welcome to uh, today's lecture. So today we will talk about uh, the data warehouse. So data warehouse is a more powerful data container that can support uh, more complicated queries and also data analysis. Uh, so before I start, I just wanted to introduce um, normally there are two types of the information system. Um, the first one is called online transaction processing uh, system or the processing database or sometimes that just we could we just call it OLTP so this type of the system mainly focus on the speed of entry so we will receive a lot of insert update or delete operations uh, so one example is that for example that uh, we have the bank like Bank of the America, so they have um, their database or probably the database cluster where they have a lot of users. Okay, so they make transactions on each single day. So those transactions will be, um, uh, those records of those transactions uh, will be inserted into the uh, this database system. Okay, so you can imagine that there are millions of records on each single day. So those will be inserted or updated or sometimes will be deleted. So that is a very typical online transaction processing system or database. So that is OLTP. Uh, we also have another system or database that is called OLAP. So that is online analytical processing database. So that database, like for example, that maintain all the users' information. Okay, so the first one is OLTP, and the second one is OLAP. So for OLAP, so that is maintain all the information. And uh, what we want to do from this one is that we want to make a very complicated queries. So we focus on analyzing the data okay uh, so for example we just may have one or two users that uh, actually those are the uh, employees of the bank of uh, america so they want to say okay so are there any uh, anomalies of those uh, of their clients so for example maybe their credit card uh, have been stolen something like that so they may analyze investigate those records on daily basis or on, or on weekly basis. So that require uh, very complicated queries. So that is a second type of the uh, system that is OLAP. <clears throat> so those data, those two, those two systems are not separate. So normally we have a system to receive the data from multiple users and we load the data into our OLAP system. So this process is called ETL. So extract, transform, and also load. Okay, so we know that the data uh, is huge. So it's big data. So this part is very important. So that will aggregate the result from, let's say, individual records into ag aggregated records. Okay, so we all talk about ETL uh, tomorrow, but today we focus on this part, so that is OLAP. And yesterday we mentioned, sorry, that actually Tuesday, on Tuesday we mentioned a database. So relational database or the other non-relational database is suitable for the OLTP. Data warehouse is suitable for OLAP. Okay, so you can see the difference. <clears throat> Okay, so let's compare uh, the two systems side by side. So OLTP and also OLAP. So OLTP have required constant transactions. So there are a lot of queries, updates, insert, etc. Um, but those queries normally are not complicated. So the examples will be accounting database, retailer transactions, etc. So those contain those operational data and normally we keep the data with for a very short time period, like two to three months. And 
uh, the storage require like just a gigabyte date and there are a lot of users so for example those are the clients of the uh, of, of the bank it re uh, no matter which type of the system so they, they, they require very strong protections however for the OLTP it requires constant data protection and fault tolerance Okay, because we have make sure that our banking system is running 24 seven, okay, 24 hours, seven days. And our database, okay, is a relational database or, or non-relational database are suitable for the OLTP. OLAP requires periodic, but large updates or complicated queries, okay. So for example, we want to text, uh, uh, are there any fraud detected? Or for example, if you want to advertise some new financial products and you want to identify the potential clients, so you, you will analyze your client's records and identify some of those clients and you can send out your advertisements. So those examples like daily or weekly reporting and also for decision support. And the data are consolidated data, so aggregated results. It requires a long-term uh, retention period. The data is very, very huge, okay, petabyte or petabytes. And normally we don't have a lot of users, okay, so normally those are the, just those analysts. So who need those data, who have who need the access and it, it requires periodic protections. Okay, so that is OLAP and also OLTP. So for OLAP, database is no longer suitable because database is not that powerful. So that is where we need our data warehouse. Okay, so data warehouse is the solution for the OLAP. Okay, so next concept is, is a row-based index and also column-based index. We know that index is a way that we can speed up the queries, but there are two types of indexing. So we can, base, we can index data based on the rows or we can index data based on the columns. And for the OLTP, the most common queries are lookups. Okay, so we want to check for, for some, probably some just random queries. And we want to return several columns of the data that for the reaching. Uh, so this is our table. Okay, and we have different users and we have their transactions and we have the date. Okay, so for example, we just are interested in some users of the transactions on specific date. Okay, so those are the row based queries. Um, so that is suitable for those row-based indexing. Uh, for the OLAP, so the most queries are aggregated queries. So in this case, for example, we want to see that for different users in different time period, okay, so what is the average transaction or what is the total transaction, okay, so that uh, take a large amount of the rows and also reduce them into aggregated results. So the final result will be that the sum of the average, okay, something like that. So aggregated results so for the entire rows. So in that case, the column based index is more suitable. Okay. Um, so so there are two types of indexing, the so row-based or the column-based. Uh, for the row-based indexing, so it is best for the random reads and also writes. But for the column-based, it's best for the sequential reads and also writes. For the row-based indexing, it written four rows of the data based on the key of the queries. And that is uh, suitable for the transaction system. And it requires low to medium data compression. Um, but for column-based index, it requires to return aggregated result, and that is suitable for the OLTP, or OLAP, sorry, and this is suitable for, for OLTP. 
So column base is suitable for OLAP. And another benefit is that column based is easy to compress the data. So when we have huge amount of data, we can compress the data um, by using the column based indexing system.